everybody, it's MJ from my paper journey. How are you all doing? I hope you're all staying well and safe and all your family also. Um, I know it's kind of uh, tiring right now, just staying at home and and then just when you think, oh, things are starting to open and yes, things start to open, but then you get more... Um, cases unfortunately and in california right now hopefully we won't have to do another shutdown so um and i know texas also is having a lot of cases and my sister lives in texas um so let me do a shout out to my family there in texas hi frankie hi elena hi Lynn and jenny my nieces and my sister frankie oops hi Sorry, <laughs> hope I didn't get you all dizzy. I also want to give a shout out to um, Crystal from Texas. And a shout out to Linda in California. And to a new subby, Alana. And say hi to uh, uh, Susie from Susie Crafts. I think that's her, um, her name. And Maribella for Maribella Creations and uh, Leneki, uh, Lens Crafting. I think you guys know her. And I hope I didn't miss, skip any of you guys, anybody else that I want to say hi to. Uh, Linda from LP Flower. Hi, Linda. And yeah, I think. I know Alana is a new subby, and uh, when she heard me say hi to my niece Elena, um, I um, I told her that I would on my next video I would say hi to her, and I just want to welcome all my new subbies, and I appreciate all of you, my existing ones and my new subbies, um, and I'm so very thankful, and from the bottom of my heart, um, I just want to say uh, God bless you and thank you for watching me. Um, well, like I said, um, a week ago or so when I was, wasn't feeling well that, um, once I did, I would do a little, um, I guess a craft along. So if you want to join me, I have no idea, um, what I'm going to do. I did say I wanted to do some tags with a, a sewing theme, uh, but see, um, see where it takes me. I've been cutting. I haven't printed anything new because uh, I don't know if you paid attention or heard me say that I accidentally dropped my laptop, my brand new laptop that my daughter and son-in-law bought me for Christmas. Uh, yeah, so she barely took it on Sunday um, to for my son-in-law to to fix. So. And he works full time, so in between, you know, his days off, um, he'll work on it and order parts or whatever he needs. Um, it's the charging port um, that got damaged. So, um, and I'm using my uh, uh, tablet to record. And my tablet's a little bit outdated, so there's certain things I can't really do on it. So, therefore, I haven't been able to print any new uh, new digitals. I have been buying, but I haven't been printing. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So, um, oops, I have all this stuff on my chair. Better get it out of the way. So I can sit and hopefully do some... Um, some tags I am you know how I keep I keep saying to limit yourself um, with the supplies on hand well last night I just oh, I went through a rampage and I made a mess of things and right now I have a mess so I started taking uh, a lot of the scraps from sewing um, the mask. So I'm hoping to incorporate um, some of these pieces of fabrics into the tags. 
And I got some laces. I limit myself on laces. That I did because I have so many laces. I didn't want to overwhelm myself. But I did take out a lot of those uh, uh, scraps. And I kind of... Um, I'm not going to use all of them, of course. But anyways, um, I've been wanting to use, since it's a sewing theme, this is an alteration card that I have. Um, I've already... Um, uh, distressed the uh, the edges front and back of the tag and I found some of these tags that I had um, printed so I cut these out last night to kind of save time I don't think you want to watch me cut and I did distress the um, the edges of it as well and I cut some of these I don't know if I'll use them I cut these this morning um but i don't know if i'll use them i didn't distress them or oh anything uh, i did leave the some of the edges um on in case i want to use it as the flip i just have to score and distress it and then so that it'll you know save myself a, a step of creating a little um gusset for the flip so, and also I came across these stickers with um, butterflies and nature stuff. And then I found these here, uh, sewing stickers. I think these are from AliExpress. Right now I'm upset with AliExpress, so I'm not ordering anything from them. I, I, I kid you not, I have so many orders that I had to dispute because they do a complete on my order when I haven't received it. And then I came across, um, so I told them, I'm going to let my viewers know that I'm not happy with you guys, so I am. I usually don't, don't do that, but seriously, 8 out of 10 of my orders that I've been waiting for over two months uh, have not gotten here, so... And then the um, the date, you know, has come up, and I'm busy. I don't have time to check on it, and it says com order completed. And I said, why is it completed if I haven't received any of it? So, um, yeah, I'm just not very happy with them. Um, then I these I bought oh last year or maybe longer from uh, Caroline Crabtree. She has a, a Etsy store. And I bought these from her, and I have these two left. So, um, being that, you know, they're little um, collages or layers of fabric and some stamping on the top, that maybe uh, I could incorporate these into my tags. I don't know yet because I have no idea what I'm going to do. Then I cut these out. These are from my print master that I created. They're um, little clips you know um and i did different colors they were they were in brown but i changed to different colors i got green brown burgundy uh like a lilac color here i don't know if the colors are coming through or not but um so and then i have a couple of these so maybe i can use them um we'll see and then i came up uh, i found these on tim holtz that I've had it for at least a couple of years. And then I saw the buttons and I go, oh, maybe I can use some of that. And then more stickers. And then I have some of these um, that I bought at um, Tim. These are Tim Holtz um, little tags, labels. I love the little ones. They're so cute. Um, you know me, I love the miniature. That I bought at Tuesday morning, oh, over a year ago. Uh, so I found those, and I'm using some of these envelopes that I found. And then I found these, Tim Holtz. Um, f these are like tiny flashcards. And these, I don't remember uh, when I bought them because it's been so long since I bought these. And I don't even know where I got them. You know, uh, if I got them at Hobby Lobby or Amazon or 
I don't know because that's how long it's been since I got them or if I got them at Tuesday morning um, so yeah and so I have a lot of stuff that I pulled out so I hope I don't overwhelm myself I should have just limit myself uh, uses and that's it but I have it so let's give it a try and sorry I've been talking for 10 minutes not doing anything however I I am ahead of this <laughs> okay let me see I know I wanted to make a pocket because I want to strengthen this because see it's perforated and it's already uh, kind of um, getting a little floppy so I'm thinking of uh, maybe putting some washi tape or maybe something like this in the front yeah, I think I like that. I'll do that. And I wanted to make a pocket in the back. Like so. And I found my my one inch uh, circle puncher. I found it without even trying to, to look for it. And this isn't that how it usually works. So I think I'll do that. And then... Um, distress and I'm using the file folder the manila file folder oh, I call it manila because that's what we used to call it at work manila uh, folders I think manila uh, is like a brand name so I, I just keep calling them manila folders but they're file folders um, I'm using them because I had a, I have a lot of scrap here. I'll show you. So you have a lot of scraps here, and I even have a lot of white scrap cardstock. So I thought I'd use them, so I won't have to waste um, cardstock. Plus, I, I love the file folder. I love I love the Manila color. That's why they're 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 called Manila folders because it's like a Manila. Uh, whatever <laughs> I lost my train of thought um, yesterday I was feeling really dizzy like hit it I don't know what's wrong with me and um, I woke up this morning I was feeling okay and then an hour or so I started feeling uh, kind of like hit it so I'm trying to ignore it I know I my sinuses were acting up so um, I'm thinking it's my sinuses I don't know but I'm trying really hard to ignore it and because I want it I want to craft it makes me happy so I decided I'm going to ignore me feeling yucky. I should have put a piece of paper here on my mat, but oh well. Um, I think I use the fabric tack for this. I want to see where it says customer claim check. I want to see that at least a little bit. I don't want to cover that up. And then cut this off like so. I'll distress the ends a little bit. And I wanted to use this and see what tag do I want to use I want to use this as a belly band on the tag for another tag let's see which one do I like I kind of like that because the rose is showing maybe the sewing machine should I put it up no higher 
I don't know. Singer sewing machine. Maybe it's not a good idea because then I put this here already. Maybe I'll use this belly band on, on another one of these tags. Um, so maybe I can. Um, where's my little. Um, This is one of what uh, one of my subbies had asked if I could do how I made using um, recyclable envelopes. Oh, I got this in here um, to store my ephemera, and that's it's just folding envelopes in half, and and I did some of them. I did like a um, like a sixteenth. I scored like a sixteenth. I think I started with a quarter of an inch. I did two envelopes with a quarter of an inch ga uh, gusset, or maybe three envelopes. Yeah, three envelopes, and then the rest I did um, like a sixteenth. Um, I scored a sixteenth gusset, and I just um, randomly um, I glue them in the center, and I didn't put all of them. You know, I didn't stack them right across each other. As you see, I kind of stagger them. And then uh, what I did is I I cut down into the envelope about a half an inch and then cut across and then use this as the uh, the flap to cover the envelope and that's where I'm keeping um, and then it, in, in pencil I use pencil a lot so I can erase I have it says here flowers PM stands for um, print master flowers so I know where I got these. So um, since I like flowers, I like this one here. Let me see. What else do I have? Oh, daisies and some roses. This is like a fabric rose. I'll leave those out and um, I'll leave that out and see if I want to use those. We'll see. But um, th that's how I did the um, envelopes. And, um, and on some of them, because I wanted a uh, the envelope, I wanted it to be big. I didn't want to lose any part um, of the envelope. I added uh, some uh, scrap piece of um, paper, glued it on, and made a flap for it. And that's what I did on some of these. So it's really nothing complicated. You know, you can do that. And then on the outside, I put some of scrap paper um, just to cover it up, kind of make it look a little bit pretty. Because this one I did um, a flap, and then the same thing here, a flap. But as you see. I think I'm going to use my uh, the accordion uh, envelope file that I made that I shared with you guys. Oh, I need some paper. Um, that's where I'm going to put these there because these are a little bit too big for this. And because it got so fat, I used uh, those elastic uh, headbands just to wrap it around and keep it in place. So it's not that. I mean, it's practical, it's used, but it's this is not that pretty. So the uh, envelope accordion is a lot nicer. But for a quick fix, you know, it did the trick. Uh, so where was I? I think I said I wanted to add some flowers. So I think I'll add a flower to this tag right here. Um, should I add some lace? down below okay I have some I guess this is the right side has some lace here like that I think I'll do that I'm not gonna overthink it because if I do then um, 
I'll be here all day. Um, I know I want to distress this a little bit. Get get rid of some of the white edges of the paper. This is not cardstock. This is printed on just regular um, that regular um, photocopier paper. The twenty pound, I think it is, the normal weight. It's not an extra uh, a heavy weight or anything like that. I have Roxy Creation on my TV. I have it very very low so I don't even know why I have it on because I have my back towards my TV so I can't see what she's doing I should just turn off the TV I think I'll do that And then I think I'll glue that. I got some of my gauze or cheesecloth, I but I don't want to make it too um, bulky because um, the file folder is already uh, thick enough, and and then I added a pocket. On the back so um, it's just gonna make it even thicker for the pocket so I don't want to do any any uh, anything complicated I want to keep it simple sometimes less is is more Plus that you know the tag already has a lot of writing and stuff. Oh, um, I should share. Let me get my phone. My sister sent me a a picture of my niece Elena. She's seven years old. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. She told my sister that she want when she grows up she wants to be a a great crafter like Tita Lola. She calls me Tita Lola because Tita means aunt in the Philippine, Filipino language and Lola means grandma. And my, my twin sister is her grandma so she calls her Lola. So I'm her aunt so I'm Tita Lola. But uh, she made one of the envelopes um, file folders that we that we did um, Few days ago anyway she sent me a, a picture of the one of course my sister helped her but she did an awesome job she even distressed uh, her own uh, her own file and she chose the paper I just want to show you that's the file that she did I hope you can see it didn't she do a great job? And then here's the the inside of it. And then my sister, and then I asked uh, Frankie, um, so what is Elena gonna store in her uh, in her envelope accordion file? And she says, well, I asked her and she said she didn't know. And then I reminded my sister, well, tell her to store the, um, when we were there in Texas in January, uh, my, my mother, uh, we went to uh, Tuesday morning, duh, of course, <laughs> and my mother bought her a package of ephemera, uh, the Disney princess and Frozen and all that. And so that's what she used when she and I, we sat together and because um, she, when I got there, the first thing she, she told me, Tita Lola, are you going to show me how to make a journal? And so we did. And you know what? I should have um, turned on my phone and filmed it and I didn't um, I think I was just enjoying that moment with her that I didn't even think um, ah, 
I didn't even think about turning the camera on. So, um, yeah. So she's so cute. My mama's. She's such a cute little girl. And she's so sweet. I'm thinking of putting some here too. But I want to match the. Maybe I'll put um, a different. Maybe put some of this vintage lace that my aunt gave me. Where's the end? Huh. Oh, here it is. It's all messed up. I'm going to have to organize my lace trims again. I don't know how many times a year I do that, and then I end up making a mess out of them again. So, I think I'll put that, or should I put some of the pink? I guess I could layer it, huh? Can't tell which one is the front and the back. Layer some of this and some of that. I think I'll do that, but let me see what um I didn't grab any book pages. Maybe I'll use some of this. I'll do some um, collaging a little bit. What can I use? What can I use? Let me see what do I have over here. Like I said, I am not going to overthink it. I want the kitty for sure. So. Should have gotten my uh, Tim Holtz, uh, you know, the, my ruler to cut tear paper with. I didn't even think about it, but like I said, I didn't have any idea what I was going to do. Sorry guys, if I'm talking kind of low, I forget. I'm concentrating here. Maybe I want some of that pink. Oh, but I'm going to put lace, so it doesn't matter. Tear that. It's what good about these paper because they're already collaged. So there's really not a whole lot collaging that you need to do. And... So, I'm going to distress this. Oh, yeah, I didn't want to make this video long. Because it takes forever to download. So, have you guys been doing any crafting? Those that have my email, I'd like to see what you guys have been doing. Um, unless, for those that um, 
you have a YouTube channel. I, I've been watching you. I may not always leave a comment because a lot of times um, I'm crafting and I have you on. I'm casting YouTube. Um, oh, I felt something in here. I'm casting YouTube to um, to my TV, to my tele. I was going to add some lace. I keep hearing my phone buzz. I have it on silent. So I've been getting some text. I'm going to check really quick like just to make sure there's no emergencies because it keeps going off a lot. Oh, it's my kids texting each other, um, being silly. Oh, my daughter says she made banana cinnamon bread. Mmm, looks yummy. And let's put some um, blue. Put that there. And then um, I'm going to layer another. Uh, a small, um, a thin vintage trim. Use this tag here. Hmm. I think I'll use some of this yarn that I bought um, when my husband and I went thrifting. that I showed you. Sorry if I get off camera. Some of that. So we have a tag. On another tag, alteration tag, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave this on. I think I'm going to take this off. Leave it like that. Um, they want to add a flower. Is that too big of a flower?
should I put this? I don't want to cover up the kitty. You know how I like kitties. I think I like that. Um, put some distress ink, cover up the white edges. some on that white spot there and here too so we don't have too much white so. I wish I could collage like Rachel Roxy Creations that gal is a queen of collaging I mean, she just goes shoom, 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 really fast, and and it always ends up looking so pretty. I'm a slowpoke when it comes to crafting. I don't craft very. I'm not fast. So this looks kind of bare up here. Um. Sorry. Um, what can I put? Can I put some of that up here? Just the edges there. And a little bit of this trim on the edge to show. Like so. Need to put more glue there. Um, oh well. Should have brought my water bottle. I left it on the other side of the room. Ah, it's already adhering. I wish I could see where I'm punching. Another 
hole puncher. This one, but I don't think it's big enough. No. Mm. Well. I'm going to leave it like that for now because I can't see. I'll need to find my other hole puncher. Okay. It's a little snug. Okay. Simple tag. Not a whole lot going. So that's one. I wanted to make um, a, um, a tag with like a pocket and then like a, a f some uh, oh, sorry guys I'm gonna have to put you on hold my sister's calling okay I'm back um, that was my my baby sister she's getting getting me she's at Walmart and she says she found a couple of fabrics that could be used for men. So um, she's gonna get me some fabric so that I can make some more masks for my brother-in-law and whoever needs. Um, I found this in the, the scrap. So I'm going to make a, a fat tag. It's uh, four, four inches wide. Okay, maybe I can use this tag. Uh, if it's going to be that wide, you know, like a on the flip on a journal page. So I want to make then, because um, I want to make some... Um, uh, like little um, flaps so I am going to score this you don't need that big of a gusset for um because you're just going to be uh, gluing that down and then covering up with um other fabric. Let me see. Maybe I want it this way. I want the this here from the file folder. This is kind of like my thought. And then and it doesn't have to be like the same size, I guess. This could be less, make it more narrow. It's a little chunky, little chunky monkey. And then I'll make another, um, just, just enough to, um, so I can glue this on to the tag. See, this is my thought. But I don't want them like right across each other like so. I want them uh, staggered. Like so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to distress them first before I glue them on. Because if I glue them on and I try to distress them, it's just going to be um, harder 
to do afterwards. My aunt had a doctor's appointment to have her um, her eye checked. She had the cornea transplant. They had to do another surgery again on Monday on it because um, something about something coming undone inside her eye. I guess um, the stitches or something like that. And um, so she was telling me I thought they were they when they do eye surgery they don't. I thought because this was like a, a cornea transplant, they would uh, put her, um, you know, sedate her completely, but they didn't. It was just uh, local on the eye, so all that time during the surgery, she was awake. Oy. I don't know if I be able to stand still that long, because... My sister said it's a form of anxiety that I have because I, if I'm standing, probably people probably think, oh, does she have to go to the bathroom? Or why is she moving around? Why is she shaking her, her leg? I can't be standing still without having to move back and forth or be shaking my leg or something. So sometimes, so it's not so obvious, I just pretend like I'm dancing, you know, especially if there's music around. But yeah, I, and okay, occasionally, lately I haven't gotten it, thank God. I have restless leg syndrome. Oh, gosh, I hate when I get that because then I can't sleep. And So anyways, yeah, I guess it must be... Um, Oh, I said I wanted to use this, huh? Oops, I just ripped that. Oh, no, I didn't. It just came undone, kind of curled down, curled up, I mean. This is not wide enough. Huh, maybe I'll use it for something else. And do I want a pocket? I said I wanted a pocket, huh? I want a white, a tall pocket. No, I think I want just something to tuck in there. Trim this off a little bit. Oh, I think it's not enough. I don't think I thought this through too well because. I'm going to have to cover this up, and I don't have a lot of paper. However, I do have fabric, huh? Hmm. Okay. Sorry for getting out of... I think I wanted this kind of here. Ooh, wait a minute. I might need a string or so to close that. So I'll have to... I have some string cut up here already, huh? That's not long enough. Okay, I'll use fabric tack for this. I think this is about right, I hope, since I'm just crafting on the fly. I use, no, I use the fabric tack because I want to make sure, um, 
that this adheres well to the to the ribbon. Is this where I wanted it? I hope so. I don't remember now. Oops, I better move this out of the way. Like that. And then I wanted this. It's just a little lower. Because I like that. If I'm too way over here on the on the left side because the camera is like right around here that's why I keep tapping it off and on with my shoulder or should I say my tablet and then I want a little pocket here but maybe I should cover this up first um, oh yeah and maybe I can use one of these up here for my tag. Yep, yep, yep. I think that's what I'll do. I think I'm going to have to use two. So that um, I'll back them together, back to back. I don't know if I, I think I sent some of these files that I did, or I had it in my folder for free files to do, to give out. I know I sent Linda back in April um, some free digis. I think she was... She was a, f oh, well, I think, Laurie, I think you asked, but you didn't give me your email information, but now that I have it, I think it was Laurie or Linda. Um, now that I have your email, I'll send them to you, because you said, yeah, you like that, you, but that was it, you never got back to me with your information. Um, let me see, what do I want for my fabric? Okay, I don't think I've ever collaged with fabric before, but I do like this butterfly. And then cut some pieces. That's wide enough. I hope. I guess we should measure there. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can cut some other um, like that and then trim off the. Um, these are not very good scissors. Not for fabric. Like that, I think. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Elena, sweetie, if you're watching, if you watch this video, this is what you can do with your scrap fabrics that you have left from your sewing project.
Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't like that. I think I like that better. I want to cover the rose. little bit here uh, something green is that too big of a contrast like so What do you guys think? Maybe I'll lower this a little bit more. Like so. I don't know. <clears throat> I never done this before. What the heck? I'm doing it. Rachel, you probably if you watch ever watch this, you're probably gonna laugh at me because you're so good at this and I'm terrible. But how am I gonna learn if I don't do it? Right? I think I wanna cut this a little bit thinner. Do this. Oh, that was gonna go down below there. Okay. If you guys have some ideas of how to do this, leave me a comment, guys, because I've never done this before. And now my video is long, and I didn't want to make a long video, but... So I guess if you don't want to watch this, you guys can just move on. We'll just move for or forward, fast forward, and see what I came up with. Because, like I said, I'm not... Not, not very good at this, and I've never done this before. And why did I decide to do it on camera for the first time? Um, call me crazy.
I should have thought of is that to sew it. But then, oh yeah, and the back doesn't matter because um, I want, oh yeah, I wanted to do like a flip on that, huh? I guess I could back the back afterwards with coffee dyed paper. I bought this at dollar store and I wrote polymer clay use. Is this polymer clay? <laughs> nope. No, it isn't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. We'll have to sew this and then where's my pocket is this it yeah put a pocket hold on my son's gonna get the doggies out and they're gonna start barking right now sorry guys i thought i turned the camera on um what i did i did some collagen with paper here in the front. I forgot to distress here. Well. I was thinking maybe I should put like a little flower here. Where my flowers go? Hello? Oh, here we go. Maybe I can use this. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm not going to think about it. Just going to do it. This video is already gone a little bit longer than I wanted to. my pocket oh and I put that there and then put um, a tag like that but I'm thinking of of sewing it that's why I haven't attached this but just so you know what I want to do and then put this here like that and then this closes, and then I got my, um, like this, and then I'll put this up here. So, um, maybe I won't do it as a flip. Maybe I'll just uh, do one that uh, glue it onto a, a journal page and then attach that there. 
I'll do that right now so you guys can see. I think the male ladies. Alright guys, I decided to um, finish the cards um, off camera. But, um... I wanted to change the, um... I added a scrap piece of fabric here for the tag. And I think I'm just going to use a little bit of this twine and, um... And tie it. If I can... Does that look too weird? I think I'm going to have to put a little bit of glue. To make sure that it stays put. of blue. Maybe I should put some in the back as well. So it won't move. So that's what I did to the tag. And that one's going to go to the first one here. And then this is what Dawn from the Book Vandal does. Like spots where it, there's no paper, no collaging. She just darkens it with, um, with Distress Ink. Which I kind of like it. I like those empty spots. And then distress the uh, the ends. Kind of like it. So I got that tip, that idea from her. I forget what she was doing. Um, this, I saw her do that, and I go, oh, I'll do that instead of having to worry about. Oh, I just found this butterfly. Maybe I'll add a butterfly. Because I love butterflies. So well, what am I going to consider the front? So maybe I'll put the butterfly here. I'll put it there. So this is the back part of my um, alteration tag. What could be the front and then the back? Would I have this? I think I need some there because it's kind of white. Anyways, okay. So that's the tag, the first one. And then the second one, I went ahead and sewed it off camera. So I went in ahead and I sewed a zigzag and then straight on the edges. And then I added this little scissor here from those stickers that I showed you that I have found. Uh, and then I went ahead and glued on um, some collage, some notepad paper um, on the sides here. So, you know, you can uh, journal a little bit here. And then journal on the card, the tag. I'm thinking I'm going to add another, make another tag for that. But yeah, that's it guys. Very simple. Nothing 
other than me not knowing what to do I mean collage with fabric um, let me know what do you think <laughs> uh, it's alright I guess for my first attempt oh. anyways that's it guys and thank you until we see each other next time in the meantime you guys take care and stay safe and may God watch over you in all things and keep you well and safe. Okay. All right, that's it. Bye. Take care.